Hey everyone, HHO for all. Uh, this is a new design that I'm playing around with. It's an improvement on the volcano cell. Um, I was over at Walmart and I saw these 97 cent cat food bowls. And so I got an idea and I decided I was just going to buy a few of these. Um, got seven bowls here and I'm just testing out a proof, and, uh, proof of concept want to see if this is actually going to work pretty good or not and if it does work well then I'm probably going to end up buying twice as many bowls and then uh, should have like a, a 15 plate or 15 bowls set up and uh, hopefully that will give me a pretty good reaction out of it these bowls um, are significantly bigger than the 3x3 three three plates that I have on my volcano cell um, these ones, I'd be willing to say that if you flatten them out, they'd probably be 6x6. Six six. So that's a much larger reactive surface area. And I'm really, really interested in seeing how they're going to work. Because um, if, if they're anything like the, um, the little uh, stainless steel condiment cups that I used to use on my designs, then uh, this thing should be a, a pretty good performer. Um, I haven't put the connectors on it yet. I just wanted to throw it together just to see what it would look like and just to see how big it would be when I put it all together. Um, got the gaskets made, obviously. You can see those there. The connectors are going to be these uh, little spade connectors. You can buy these at any auto parts store, or Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, Osh, whatever. Uh, you can get them anywhere. Uh, what I do is I take the plastic off of them and then I flatten them and then I take some uh, JB Weld, the uh, the JB Quick, so it only uh, takes four minutes to bond, and then I end up adhering it to the edge of each bowl. So that way, you know, it's, it only takes a few minutes to get it there, to get it set in place, and then I think it takes uh, like four hours to cure. So it's a one-day project. Doesn't take too long to do it. Um, so th that's my idea. This is what I'm going to do, and, and if it does work out, then I'll definitely put some more bowls on it. But uh, I've also got some uh, some videos that I've put together. I just haven't finished wrapping them up yet. I've got my flow meter built, and it's working great. Um, the other volcano cell that has the three by three plates. That one, um, I I was kind of uh, a little disappointed, but um, surprised at the same time, too, because it's such a small fuel cell. And uh, I pushed it and pushed it, and uh, I couldn't get one liter per minute out of it, but I got damn close. So I'll be releasing that video here in the next day or so after I get done editing it. And, uh, and then also I'm going to test this one out after I get the connectors on it. So that's what's going on right now, and then uh, I also have another project here, um, which is a total of 32 switch plates that I'm going to do in a volcano cell style. Um, it's going to be a dual exhaust, and it's also going to be dual refill. So um, th it's already pre-drilled because they're light switch plates and uh, it's got three holes on it so that should give it plenty of room for the electrolyte to go in between each one of the plates so no drilling involved don't have to deal with that all I've got to do is put in cutting board on the top and bottom and bolt that sucker in and then uh, put the exhaust ports on there and then should be good to go and uh, I'll be doing the same trick with the tabs on the side so that's that that's what's cooking right now this has been HHO for all I'm out